Dr. Doreen Grand is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Dr. Doreen Grand is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. Hi, Shannon and Dr. Doreen. I'm a BCBA working with a six-year-old client on the autism spectrum. Um, they're in special education private school. Uh, one specific, specific client has great cognitive abilities and he's a quick learner. He's fully verbal, but does not yet engage in any social language and does not engage in play with peers. He does not seem to learn by observing others. My question is, would you recommend he attend a regular education private school or stay in special education setting? Yeah, so this is, you know, it's very difficult for me to advise you directly because I don't know your child or, or this particular child, but um, the way that I look at it is uh, you're not, it, to me right now, reading what you wrote, it doesn't seem like he is getting a lot out of his regular education classroom. Rather than saying right off the bat, I think he should, you should transfer to special ed. My thinking is more along the lines of, see, because with this child, it sounds like he might have potential for regular ed. So I don't want to re really take this. Let me pause you because you have it flipped. He's currently in special ed. They're asking, should they should he go to regular? I see, I see. Thank you. So I I don't know that um, he should he would be ready to go to regular ed right now because it doesn't sound like he engages with his peers or benefits from observation, but. I also want to make sure that he's not learning anything negative in special ed. I hate to say it, special ed does give more attention because the ratio is of a teacher to, to students is better. But there's two things with special ed that concern me. One is that there are other children who are having issues and our kids can model that behavior readily. Like it's just everything around them I would be something perhaps that we don't want them to model. The second thing is that in special ed, nobody tends to push our kids, right? There's very few demands in special ed, and that's probably the worst thing for all of our kids. Um, it's really important to get it right in terms of how much you demand from a child, how much you can expect from a child. If you expect too little, uh, the child will get bored and probably act out. If you expect too much, the child will uh, get become frustrated and act out again. So it's really important to keep the child challenged, uh, but also rewarded heavily. Um, what it sounds like to me for this particular child is that he needs more one-to-one -one outside of school. The ideal situation, in my opinion, is when you have had a child for enough time prior to uh, engaging in school that they've learned a lot. So for instance, that's why we start kids so young because that allows us to teach them a lot of stuff in one-to-one -one format uh, so that when, by the time they go to school, they're ready to interact. Like one of the things we teach them is observational learning, learning by observing other people. Um, and that's really, really important as well, or engaging in play. Those are just things that are very hard to teach in the classroom, but they are really easy to work on when you're one-to-one. -one. Now, this, is, this child is six years old, um, I guess, where you are, and I don't know if this is even possible, some states you can do this, the parents would have to want to do this, obviously. But one of the things that, and it sounds like he's got great cognitive ability, that's the main thing that I'm trying to, that's why it's important to do something like this. Um, I would suggest that you uh, maybe talk to parents about doing some assessments, figure out exactly what his deficits are. You can use the skills assessment. That's a really good way to look at it. 
Um, and if he's able to for the coming year, now that we are, where are we? We're in December, so it would be quite a while actually. Uh, maybe this year you reduce his school time uh, in special ed, increase his one-to-one -one time at either home or at a clinic, increase his ABA one-to-one -one, and prepare him for regular ed in September of next year. So now you would have nine months of time to really focus on working on those things that he would need to be strong at if he's going into regular ed next year. And, uh, you know, in order to do that, you'd have to reduce his, his special ed time right now because otherwise he's 30 hours a week in special ed and you won't have a lot of time at home or at a clinic. So hopefully that makes sense. I always want to just kind of give our kids a lot of one-to-one -one preparation before they go to regular ed. I love that. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.